Hello everyone, welcome to Nirja Education. This is class 9, science, lesson number 6, biology chapter, tissues. Before getting to the chapter, please subscribe our channel at the same time. Don't forget to press the bell icon. I need to ask one question. How would you react if I say that your body is made up of building block? I bet you, would you just laugh it off? If I say your body is made up of or our body is made up of building blocks means you would have laugh. If you look at these things from science perspective, then the building blocks that I am talking right now are nothing but cells and tissues. The cells and tissues are made up of even plants also having the cells and tissues. Even each and every living organism is made up of building blocks that is cell. In the previous chapter also we discussed the fundamental unit of life. The cell is a basic unit. Without cell the cell organism can't make. So cells that form a basic unit of life let us know more about tissues. What is tissues? A group of cells combine and make a tissues. So as we all know that cell is a building block. So many cells are combined and make the tissues. Similar cells and do the same functions. It is like that all the cells will combine it make a tissue. It is not like that. Similar type of cells are combined it make. At the same time it all the cells are doing the same type of function it may be. Right. Now, in this chapter, we are going to discuss these are the topics. The first one is introduction about the tissues, types of tissues, plant tissue, particularly we are going to discuss in this video plant tissues. In that, plant tissues are classified into two categories. There is a meristematic tissue and permanent tissue and protective tissue. Here I write that flow chart. The tissues are classified two types we will discuss later. First we need to get into that introduction as we all know that group of cells combine and make the tissues similar cells and do the same function that is called tissues. In simple term if you want to say tissues can be defined as the group of cells performing similar function. Again I repeat tissues can be defined as a group of cells performing similar function. If a cell is called a basic unit of life, then a group of cells together and make up the tissues. So these group of cells have common origin with a similar structure and group of cells perform definite functions. So the tissues, if you see the hierarchy, if you see the picture, the hierarchy of the tissue organization, the organism that is the man or any other organism is composed of organ system. The organ system is made up of organs, organs are made up of tissues, tissues are made up of cell. So cell is a basic unit of biology. If you go beyond that cell, cells are made up of molecules, molecules are contain atoms. So that is the chemistry part. If you see the biological part, cell is a basic thing. So cells are develop the organism. So cells, next step it is what? tissues cells or combine it make a tissues so similar type of cells combine together and they are doing the same function that is called tissues next we are going to discuss the types of tissues the tissues are classified into two category one is animal tissue another one is plant tissue in this session we are going to discuss that plant tissues the plant tissues are classified into two types. One is meristematic tissue, another one is permanent tissue. There are the two types of plant tissue. One is meristematic tissue, another one is permanent tissue. The meristematic tissues are classified into three types based on the location, occurrence, epical meristem, intercalary meristem and lateral meristem. The permanent tissues are classified into three types. There is a parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Each and everything we will discuss in detail. Now before that, as we all know that definition of tissue. Once again I repeat, tissues can be defined as a group of cells performing similar function. Right. What are the function it is performing our body? Functions are, it controls and coordinate our body. 
you're doing a lot of function to one, one of the function I'm telling that is that it controls our body it maintain control and coordination of our body how you may be think how the tissues are control and coordination for example in human and animal the brain is a main agent of controlling our body so the brain is made up of nerve tissues so the nerve tissues only control the entire body next function is what transportation first function control and coordination second function transportation for example if you take plants plants absorb water at the same time leaf prepared the food material this material water and mineral food material it can transfer from one place to another place one part of the plant body to another part by the help of certain tissues we will discuss in later so the tissues are helps to transport the material in the form of water or minerals or food the third function is it act as a insulator for example, if you see uh, our human body below the skin, the adipose tissues are present. So this adipose tissues are act as a insulator to protect our body against any antigen or any chemical reaction or any activities. So this way tissues are doing lot of functions we are going to learn from this chapter. We are starting with plant tissue mainly two types plant tissues are classified into two types meristematic tissue and permanent tissue first we are going to discuss meristematic tissue the meristematic word it comes from the greek language meristos is the greek language word that is a meristos meristos mean divisible it can divide that is the meaning so meristematic tissue means it will continuously divide that is the meaning of the term meristematic so this meristematic tissues have unique future what is that means they divide continuously throughout the life it can divide continuously throughout the life and help in the increasing the length as well as girth of the plant because of this meristematic tissues only the length and girth of the plant is increasing you all are learned from your lower classes unlimited growth plants are unlimited growth animals and humans are having limited growth why because plants are having unlimited growth means because of this meristematic tissues so the meristematic tissues are made up of meristematic cells we should know how the meristematic cells are look like looks like so normally the meristematic tissues are in different shapes like circle or oval or spherical shape or rectangular shape or polygonal shape there are the different shapes of meristematic cells are present this is according to the occurrence the shapes may be different these cells are this is you just see this is the structure of meristematic cell this meristematic cell of course this is present cell plant cell so cell wall is present here the meristematic cells the cell wall is very thin in nature thin cell wall is present so the cell wall is made up of as usual cellulose only but the nature of the cell wall is thin at the same time if you see inside the cell dense cytoplasm is present dense means a thick content of cytoplasm present inside so meristematic cells are thin cell wall cell wall is made up of cellulose but it is thin in nature inside the cell the dense cytoplasm is present at the same time they have a large nucleus or prominent nucleus present at the center of the cell so only one nucleus is present in each cell that nucleus also large in size it is present at the center of the cell this is the second point third one is what this cells are arranged tightly so we can tell it is tightly packed or compactly packed cells what is mean by compactly packed cells means they are arranging very tightly in between one cell to another cell no gap no space between one cell to another cell so the next point is no space between the cell so that we can tell it is a intercellular space intercellular space what is the meaning of intercellular space means the space between one cell to another cell so here the meristematic cells are arranged tightly or compactly so the intercellular space is absent at the same time meristematic cells are having very small vacuum some of the meristematic cells are having few vacuoles or some of them does not contain any vacuoles also these are the 
characteristic features of meristematic cells. Once again I repeat they are in different shapes like circle, oval or triangular shape or polygonal in shape. This is based upon the occurrence of the meristematic cells it is present. These meristematic cells are tightly packed are compactly arranged. They don't have space between one cell to another cell. So the intercellular space is absent. The cell is covered by cell wall. The cell wall is thin in nature. It is made up of cellulose. Inside the cell, the dense cytoplasm is present. A prominent single nucleus present at the center of the cell. Right? These are the main characteristic of meristematic tissues. Uh, next we are going to discuss about the types of meristematic tissues based on the occurrence. There are the different types are there but in your ninth standard you have you are going to learn that meristematic tissues are classified based on the occurrence. Occurrence means place which place it is present. According to the places it can be classified into three types. Based on the occurrence, meristematic tissues are classified into three types that is epical meristem, intercalary meristem and lateral meristem. First we have to discuss what is mean by epical meristem. This epical meristem is nothing but the meristematic tissues are present at the tip of the stem or tip of the root. That meristem is called epical meristem. So here you just see the picture. Suppose this is the root area, here the tip of the root or here this meristem which will develop the growth of the root. So that meristem is called epical meristem. It is present both places, tip of the root as well as tip of the shoot. Shoot means stem. Epical meristem present at the growing tip of roots and shoots. Shoots means stem. So, if it is present in the root, that apex is called a root apex. The epical meristem which is present on the root area, tip of the root means that is called a root apex. Same like that, the epical meristem which is present on the tip of the shoot means that is called a shoot apex. What is the function of epical meristem means? It increases the height of the plant. So, the height is full and full depends upon the epical meristem. It gives or it increases the growth of the or height of the plant. The next one is intercalary meristem. This intercalary meristem located at the base of the leaves or internode. First we should know about what is mean by base of leaf and internode. Base of leaf means this below the leaf at the same time the where the leaf is originated that place is called node node means small projection from that place only the leaf will be developed so that is called a leaf node so this intercalary meristems are present on the base of the leaf or nodes of the leaf then next one is internodes so internodes means the branch where it is arising that node is called a branch node one branch node with another branch node here to here. You just see this is, this gap is there, no? this is called internode. The gap between two nodes, that is called internodes. So, this intercalary meristem present in between the internodes at the base of the leaf as well as the nodes area also. So, this intercalary meristems, what is the role means? It increase the number of branches. With the help of this intercalary meristem only, the branches are increasing. The next one is lateral meristem. Lateral meristem present the beneath of the bark. Of course, if you see this is the trunk of the plant, means the trunk is covered by a bark. The bark beneath of the bark, this lateral meristem is present. So, this lateral meristem is called cork of cambium the lateral meristem which present at the beneath of the bark that is called the cork of cambium so what is the function of this lateral meristem means it increase the width of the plant it increase the width at the same time what happened the diameter automatically it will be increased so that is the main function of the lateral meristem so i hope you have understood the different types of meristematic 
tissues that is a epical meristem it is present at the tip of the root as well as shoot it increase the height of the plant second one is intercalary meristem it is present at the base of the leaf and nodes it develop the branches third one is lateral meristem it is present the beneath of the bark that is called a cork cambium it is increase the width of the plant i hope you have understood meristematic tissue and its types next video we will discuss permanent tissue thank you have a nice day